so uh, till now we worked on a uh, call center uh, 10 uh, which we created at absolute control level right so now i'm going to uh, create uh, one more journal and we'll use this time uh, uh, call center which we have given at the advisory budget uh, budget control level so we'll see how it is going to work if you use the call center which is given at the advisory control level so for the absolute one actually when we try to uh, create a journal by using the amount beyond the budget limit uh, it was failed to uh, it was failed to uh, budget was failed right budget amount uh, is beyond that it was failed and we requested the overage but here if you can see so let me take uh, co copy the existing one itself any one advisory level if you are using here it is like a uh, budget will never fail it will just uh, pass with some warnings okay even you don't need to go for request override option and you don't need to give any justification even and system will directly uh, pass the budget with some uh, warnings that's it okay so this is the ledger yesterday we used so let's so you forgot about the timing sir uh, just join late i joined late i guess okay Actually, I may have fit. I make up, but I feel like we are okay. It's relaxed for half an hour. Right. So let's search the existing journal, and we will copy that journal, and we'll uh, see the advisory level how it will control. So this is our primary ledger, I think. Test journal fifteen. No, this should be let's see. This is for reporting currency ledger. I need one with primary channel. So someone has created even payable cinema is a chair. Okay, nice. Yeah. So let's copy this journal. So I'm creating this as a test channel one. Take triple one. PDH uh, six twenty four twenty. So till now uh, we seen uh, by using the cost center value 10 uh, we created the journals right so which was uh, created at advisory level so for uh, sorry absolute level and the cost center 11 we defined the advisory control level right so first let's check uh, what is the amount limit we have what is the amount, uh, limit we have for this and then we will create a journal beyond that amount. We'll see whether uh, will it pass the fund. Or not. Going to budgetary control. Give you uh, what are the funds available I have. Go to task panel. Give you budgetary control balances.
So Vira, I hope you received that uh, uh, document, right? No, I mean yesterday's one. No, no, I didn't receive. I clearly told to Padma even I called her and I asked her to share. Fine, no problem. So for the June period, I'm going to take. So let's see June. Uh, we'll see the quarter wise. So go for April. And to budget period, I'm just going to select is June. Let's go with companies 100. And we are looking for a cost center value of 11. Okay, which we created at advisor 11. And I'm going with all account values. And then click on search. Okay, so for the company 11, I'm going to create with 522, uh, 52330, which is our advertising account. So if you can see 52330, I have April period 1000. And again, uh, May period also, May period I have 1300. And June period I have 700. Fine. So what I will do here is, now, but uh, if you can see the sum of this uh, April, May, June, it is again coming as a 3000 itself. So I'm just going to create a single journal with 3500 uh, amount and let's see how it's going to be work. Fine. Because as I didn't use uh, April and May period, so system can allow me to, uh, system will pass the che uh, check funds if I create up to 3000, right? But I'm creating a journal with 3500. So let's see uh, how it will work because yesterday session uh, by using the cost center 10, when we created beyond the quarterly budget amount system has failed to uh, check funds. And then we requested for overrate and we given justification then uh, it was passed with warning option, right? Now I'm just going to uh, create a journal beyond the quarterly limit with the cost center value of 11. So the cash in, uh, the cash account which we're giving at the credit side, uh, this can be like any cost center. Okay, it should not be like always. This should be with a your debit uh, debit and cost center value. I'm just going to keep uh, 10 it's up here, and you can save this. Okay. And I'm not going to even complete it. I'm just going to check funds. It is failed. Uh, 11 only we used, right? Uh, for the advisory level or 10? 11 only we used. Let's see why it got failed. Mm -hmm. Overhead is available for the failure, it is saying. Okay. So, even this is getting failed, we should come as actually passed with warning option. Uh, but still this even is showing us like overhead is available for this failure. So let's override this one. As we have given, a, uh, I think business unit while we creating. So let's check even that. Fine. So I'm going to save this again. And let's click on desert fund. Okay, now override and desert fund. Let's see. I'm just going to give some justification this event and then click on OK. So I thought of like actually it should work with pass with warnings option because it's be given at advisory level. But still not a problem of why it 
this we can see but uh, so now you got it right if it is beyond the quarterly budget limit then it is getting failed and uh, we are requesting the override so we have seen almost uh, three scenarios i think uh, in the journal level so now we will navigate to ap invoice and in ap invoice level how this will work we will see okay i'm just going to post this channel click on okay cancel fine so what is the other account now we are having because if you see uh, advertising account the total consumption we have utilized now right so by using advertising account system will not allow us to create now ap invoice because what is the total amount we had for this phi uh, 52330 with the cost center of 10 and with the cost center of 11 both we have utilized right mm -hmm. why it is not edge showing okay let me just refresh i'm going with quarterly budget which is the q20 q220 so from end to budget by period i have taken q220 100 and the cost center we used 11 okay and the account value also let's give uh, five to double three zero okay and search You can see total budget was 3000. We used the total consumption of uh, 3500. And it is 3500. Now, fund available amount is less than uh, 500. Okay, so this amount uh, we completely used. Now we just have only one account uh, that is, let's choose as all account values. So, what is the other account we used is for uh, repairs, I think. So, repairs it is 52, 522. Yeah, five five two double three zero. This is we did. So five triple two zero, which is a repairs account. We have now three thousand. Okay. So repairs account uh, we will use for AP invoice. Fine. So this even we created with the uh, cost center of eleven at advisory level. So we'll see how it will work. Click on done. Go to your payables module. So click on this home icon. Go to payables, invoices, click on create option here. So let's see uh, AP invoice level how this budget will work, okay. So I'm going to use uh, Amazon US Infra BU. Uh, Vera, what is the supplier we are adding? Cisco? Apple, supply, Apple supplier. So Apple supplier 1390 supplier number. Fine. Okay. 624. Okay, so this even we were having the budget limit of 3000. Right? So I'm directly creating even this with more than uh, 3500. Fine, click on lines. Let's give 3500. It's also a good fail, I'm thinking, because uh, that is how our journal has been created. There's no distribution set we create. Okay. 
Let's enter the distribution combination, which is our repairs account we have to take. So let's select rent. Now change the account to five two double five triple two three I think. Search. So this is the account I'm going to use five triple two zero. For this account, we uh, we given the budget amounts, right? So click OK. Hmm. It has been disappeared. Let's enter once again. Tables, invoices, date. Done. Table supplier. S twenty four. It doesn't find it. Let's give the lines. And account, account we are going to use it by triple to zero. So select the relevant short and alias what we have Now save the invoice. So here you can see in the invoice section. So earlier when we seen the AP uh, module transaction close, we never seen this check funds option or the reserve fund options, right? Request override. So but if you see here now we uh, additionally it got added check funds. So click on the check funds. Okay, you can. Check the funds only once after you validate this invoice. So let's validate first. It will go to needs revaluation status. So click on this needs revaluation status and just see what is the holds we are having. So you can see funds is not attempted and the system holds. We have one system hold. So this will be the budget fund hold you will have. So you can see line variance. Uh, the total of invoice does not equal to the invoice header. We given 3,500. Do we have taxes here? Okay. So what we can do is tax classification is defaulting here. Right? So it is 3,920. Fine. So 3920. Let's validate it. Okay, it's again needs to validate this. You can see partially resolved. Fund status is partially resolved, unaccounted, and if you see the system hold. 
This one we have released by correcting the variance amount between your header and the line level. And now you can see funds reservation is failed. Funds could not be reserved for invoice line. So click on cancel or save and close and then go to your actions. And then here you have request override. Okay, so here also we are giving the reason. Testing, I submit it. So, advisory level one, it is not uh, working correctly, but actually, advisory level one, we don't need to request for overrides. We'll just pass with one. So, it will just pass with warnings. Now, if you can see, let's see the needs revaluation status once again. So it is still with uh, partially reserved, right? Now, if you save this transaction, save it and validate it. Or if you want to, okay, now we have the request over it with this even we did. Let's see this. So I'm revaluating once again. Okay, so request over it. This is what we just did, right? And no users with funds override authority for this transaction. The budget manager has been notified. So, Jola is a budget manager and she got the notification even. Action request, but we seen yesterday like she is not having a option to approve it. Either withdraw or dismiss, only these two options we are having. So, Let's withdraw it. Then, mm -hmm. one minute. We'll check the funds. Fails funds check. View results. insufficient funds and also it is giving here it's not giving anywhere like a, a override is available for these insufficient funds so let's see at the budget level so for the QT it is just giving only uh, available is zero mm Naveen, hello Naveen. So, yeah, uh, distribution combination. You didn't select uh, cost center. Oh, okay. Now I'm just checking. Yes. So here the distribution combination. This is our cost center value, right? Second one or the third one. So this is the one. So let's check it. Triple one. You have to take triple one. Double one, we don't have triple one, we have double one. So let's select that one. So this is advisory one, right? Yeah. So save this and try. Validate it. I think we need to check the funds again. The fund transaction process has still failed. User result. Distribution combination is not getting changed, not changing here. It is still coming as percentage 20 itself. Why it is not changing? It changed here, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to distributions. Here, yeah, let's change this. Right. 
read it Related. Now let's check the funds. So let's see the status of the funds here from the validated tab. So reserve with warning. So when I validate it, automatically the funds has been reserved. So we have seen yesterday, right? Like when we are uh, posting directly without checking the funds system will automatically uh, check and reserve the funds if it is within the limit. So you got it right here. Uh, why uh, this cost center 11 advisor level didn't work for our uh, GL is while creating this advisory level, uh, we have given the business unit. Okay. So that is however optional field. So if you won't give a uh, business unit there, then it will work for both GL and uh, business unit. As we specified the business unit, that is the reason uh, this is working only for the business unit level. <clears throat> uh, Pankaj, is it clear for you what I'm trying to give explanation? While we creating a control budget at advisory level, uh, the supplemental role, I have given US Infra BU. Okay. Yeah. Given the business unit there because that is optional field itself. So if you wouldn't have given this business unit, then the advisory uh, uh, control functionality will work even for the general ledger uh, journal event. As given the business unit, so this is working only for business unit level. See, okay. he didn't request it for over, uh, override event, right? And it's just reserved with warning. So you can create with any amount beyond your quarterly uh, budget. System okay. just uh, pass your funds and it will reserve the funds just with warning message. That's it. Okay. Okay. It's clear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then tomorrow we will start intercompany that will take uh, two days. So mostly by tomorrow and after tomorrow we'll complete the intercompany and so tomorrow it is Wednesday, Thursday, right? So Thursday, Friday will complete intercompany and Sunday will be our last session. There I'm going to take a revaluation and the consolidation part and with that uh, we will close our batch. Okay. Sunday will just take uh, some two hours of session so that we can complete revaluation process and also we will complete this uh, consolidation part. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow we will try to complete the intercompany part. Okay. So in budget, okay. uh, this is what we can test uh, at your manual journal level or for your AP invoices. So as we are doing only AP invoice level, so we, did, we enable the budgetary control only for the AP invoices. And that too, we enable if you remember unmatched invoices. So this is unmatched invoice, right? That is the reason it worked here. So it's like you can even enable budget for your requisition, procurement, or at the time of uh, receiving the goods even. But as we are not seeing the procurement thing, so we just enable for invoicing. And this is how you can check whether your budget functionality is working for the advisory level or not. Okay. If this cost center would have created at the absolute control level, then we need to request for the override and uh, uh, we have to uh, give some justification and then only uh, once it get approved by the budget manager, it will uh, reserve the fund for this transaction. Okay. As this is advisory level beyond the quarterly um, budget amount limit even, it is allowed us to uh, reserve the fund just with some warning message. Okay, so tomorrow please join at seven o'clock itself uh, so that we can uh, start intercompany. Okay. Okay, now yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Then. Thank okay. You. Thanks. Bye -bye. Where are you just stay? Yes. Ma